Ah, it's time for the long-awaited video. Oh shit, my bad. Hold on, let me restart. Hey yo, what's good, niggas? Uh, yeah. Uh, I I'm not clever enough to think of any other thing to say at the start, so I'm gonna just say hey yo like any typical a Negro would say. But uh, let's let's get into this bitch. So uh, first off, I didn't know that Oron had a sequel where you know Honey and Mori were just sent into. Uh, Japan to just be gangsters and shit, but hey, it's a banger. Also, I I got I gotta just point this out because there's there's no way I'm the only one. I know I know the first episode was a long ways away or the second episode, whatever episode it was, but you cannot tell me that this nigga don't look like Mikey. Like, I, at first I thought Mikey was a time traveler. I was like, can Mikey time travel too or some shit? Or like when I first see Mikey, I was like. Pretty sure that's that's the the nigga that died in the first fight. Like, you know, nigga that got his ass whooped, face down, ass up. You know what I'm talking about? But apparently not. That nigga, they just managed to be the only two niggas with that hairstyle in the whole first season. So hey, that's that's cool with me. Nah, but real shit though. Uh, this show, I'm not gonna lie, first episode it should gave me PTSD of uh of Obito in in the war arc, bro. Cause I was like, I swear to God, if this nigga starts an entire fucking world war for a bitch, and this one was just as bad, cause it was like, bro, you were like 13 when this happened. But, you know, it, I, I was pleasantly surprised when I learned of, when I continued watching. And I realized, you know, this shit is fire. Takemichi, he, he aight, but like, the support cast is lit as a bitch. <laughs> now before I start, I don't, I don't got time for niggas to be up in here talking about You like Tokyo Avengers, but you hate One Piece? Dude, your taste is so trash Nigga, I, I like shit based off enjoyment I don't really give a fuck how deep the story is, to be honest, if I enjoy it But that also don't mean the story can just be dog shit Fucking courage I mean, not courage, what the hell What's that nigga's name? Clifford, the big red dog ass storyline Like, I want a little bit of juice, but I also want I don't, I don't want to attack on Titan episode every fucking week. Like, I want to enjoy myself, chill out, you know, just just be entertained. You feel me? But regardless, you know, the first few episodes was OK Uh, when he went back in, in the past and shit. It was cool. And then when you met Mikey and Draken and Mitsuya and all that shit, that's when it started picking up. It's like, OK, OK. Then the whole beef with Mobius and Pa, that shit was that shit was lit. I'm not going to lie. They hold Pa, though. Because how the fuck you gonna call this nigga Pa the greatest or one of the best brawlers in Toman and this nigga gets his ass whooped and then Mikey just one shots the nigga. This nigga, no. If, if that's your best, if that is your best to bring out, this nigga Pa is ass. No. Toman gotta be dog shit if Pa is your best or one of the best brawlers in the, in the gang. Not gonna lie to you. And then Mikey just yeah, kicks the fuck out of Bull. What's his name? I don't fucking remember his name. The bum in in the present time. The blonde nigga from Mobius. But his ass, like, Mikey just bodied the nigga. And I'm like, okay, maybe he just ass. And, but <laughs> I failed to realize that Mikey would soon be known as that nigga. And that, and this nigga just, that sweet chin music goes crazy. I became a bitch ass nigga and stabbed uh, the leader from Mobius. I'm not gonna lie, that was a whole ass move, but at least he took, he went down for it. But I'm not gonna lie. Pa, you, you was retarded, nigga. What are you, like 15, 16 years old? You going to jail, nigga, for stabbing, nigga? You tweaking. You didn't even kill him, you wildin'. You wildin' like a bitch, not gonna lie. Also, quick, uh, quick interruption. Mikey gotta be the biggest badass in, in, in this shit, bro. Cause this nigga fights with sandals almost every time, bro. And I'm just like, I don't know why, but I, I, I hate feet, bro. Feet are fucking disgusting. Like, whoever got fo feet fetishes, bro, fuck you. You dirty bitches from, for just even thinking about that shit. But this nigga, I don't know. Whenever this nigga wears some sandals, I just know this nigga finna tee up. Like, low key, I'll be, I'll be peeking at the nigga toes. I'm like, yeah, it's time. Whenever I see them toes out, yeah, niggas finna die. Moving on past the uh, non-talkative shit, uh, a lot of shit happens between Hina, you know, Takamichi, whatever the fuck, blah blah blah, ooh, blah blah blah. Uh, by the way, this nigga Takamichi woke up with uh, with Coochie in his in his face, but you know that's cool, I guess, even though he's thirteen or fourteen. Either way, the nigga's like a kid. But um, next next up, Draken is, uh, dies. Yep, he dies. But then the nigga goes back in time 
and then the nigga still almost dies because Takamichi can't fucking fight, and apparently this nigga can't see. How the fuck can you not see a six seven nigga with blonde hair and a big ass dragon on his fucking temple, nigga? I don't understand how you cannot find this nigga for like a whole episode. You could not find this nigga, but hey, hey, you redeemed yourself. Oh yeah, by the way, fuck that nigga. What's his name? Kyo Masa or some shit, some weird ass name, nigga. Don't matter, cause he a bitch and he stabbed Draken, and then he got choked the fuck out by Takemichi. So good shit by Takemichi, you know what I'm saying? Clap it up, clap it up, for my boy. Yes sir, yes sir. But um, yeah. After that, you know, it's like uh, it's like when you start a new video game, like all your powers, like you start Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts two, you got all the all the maximum moves and shit, Blizzaga, Fyraga, all that shit. And then next game, they take all your powers from you, nigga, and you got to restart from level one. That's Takamichi. After every time this nigga fight and do something, he restart from level one. I don't know how I just choked the nigga out, but I did it. So now, I can learn to choke the niggas out again. Like, come on, bro. So yeah, he stopped my bro Dragon from dying and shit. And you know what happened? Hinata Tachibana died again. Dead, dead, dead. And I'm just like, bro, how? How the fuck? And then I realized that was going to be the whole point of the show. This nigga was going to have to save every fucking person until he, until, I don't know. Because every time he saved one person, he was still going to die by somebody else or some shit. And it's going to be some dumb shit. And then I'm just like, bro, okay, why don't you just stay in the past and then just live out them full 12 years, nigga? You said this was your prime anyway. You ain't going back to shit. So, like, you might as well. Anyway, on to the on to the the big main part of the video, or the greatest part of Tokyo Revengers, the Tomen uh, origination arc or whatever the fuck. The shit with Kasutor and Baji, that shit is a fucking banger, and I will not change my mind, bro. That shit is a one top tier fucking enjoyment, nigga. I'm not gonna say anime, cause niggas gonna be like, oh, that shit is trash, nigga. The enjoyment, nigga. I I was so invested in that shit, bro. When Nigga, you nigga, you telling me when Bachi when Bachi came up in that bitch, I was like, nigga, who the fuck is this long haired bitch? This lame ass nigga, female ass nigga. And then guess what? We got the backstory off the little the charm that he dropped. And then we learned about Kasutora. And then, you know, Kasutora came up in that bitch with them two broke leg niggas. He said, Ah, Takemichi, yeah, bring your ass, nigga. And if you don't come, I might just beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? So Takemichi, he walked over there like the bitch he is, he said. Ow! On some Michael Jackson shit. So then this nigga came around. And then he saw Kasu not Kasutora. Bachi beating the shit out of this nigga Chifuyu. Also another goat. Chifuyu is another goat, and if you tell me he's not, I'ma smack you. Chifuyu, that man is a dog, and he is a he Chifuyu was up there with Shikamaru as as top tier friends, bro. Because that nigga said, you know, I'm going to let you beat the shit out of me. I, I'm not going to fight it. Because that's, that's just how much of a dog I am. That's just how much I that I value this bond between us, nigga. So, yeah, Chifu, you got the dog shit beat out that nigga. I don't like damn, That's tough. That's tough, tough. Um, And then Bachi told the story to Takamichi and all of Valhalla. Dope ass name, by the way. All of Valhalla about the origin. Origi. Nigga, the OGs and how Toman started and shit. And the reason why Kasutora got locked up. I'm not gonna lie, Kasutora is the most badass looking nigga on that show. I don't know why, but like the whole scheme they got going on with the blonde and black hair only type shit is fire. But uh, yeah, that's just me though. I don't know. Like the way they do it is just like the shit pop out. You know, it's like the blonde pops out with all the black hair niggas and all the blonde hair niggas in the mix. It's just cool. But you know, you know the whole backstory, the whole shit with the the bike and all that. I just fuck with a whole bond so dope. Like before, obviously before uh, Kasatora kills and you know who he kills. This the whole shit is so dope. Them as a group is dope. Like their flashbacks is sick. Cause it's just like Mikey's there. He clearly cares about all them niggas. And then Draken still Draken, but it's like Bashi and Kasatora were tight, bro. Like they were like best fucking friends. Like. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, like, a slice of life, but not really, like, it's just, like, not all these extra powers and shit, like, I don't know, the vibe there is cool, the whole, like, gang, uh, what do you call that shit, uh, 
Damn, I forgot what you call that shit. The D word, nigga, they be using. Delinquent. Like, the delinquent vibe in Japan and all that shit is so dope, bro. I don't know. Maybe because I'm a fucking childish ass kid, but that shit is so dope. But eventually, you know, Kasutor kills, uh, you know, Mon, Mon something. Mon something, you know, Mikey's older brother. And then they start crying and they're like, you know, and then that's when you realize Kasutor is a fucking retard and that nigga has mental issues. But also, he, he his mom's been getting beat and shit and all that. So it's like, I can understand. But like, we clearly have to address this nigga has mental issues. So like, I'm not going to blame this nigga all the way for what's wrong with him. Because clearly, clearly niggas just let this nigga walk around like this, acting like a fucking moron. But yeah, then we get to the Valhalla fight and it's all like, it's all dope. And by the way, fuck Hisaki. But um, they get to the Valhalla fight and everything's cooling. And it's just like, it's just a, it's just dope, bro. It's sick. I'm tired of using the same word, but it's dope. And I'm tired, nigga. I'm sorry. I'm tired of talking. It's 11 minutes and you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, you got to protect Kasator and Bachi from dying. But you have to protect Mikey from, I mean, no, you have to protect Kasator from dying from Mikey. And this whole time, I'm like, I understand where Mikey's coming from. Because, like, you killed my fucking brother. But also, it's like... This nigga still clearly has mental issues. Like, it's it's so apparent that it's not even funny. Like, this nigga, I don't know if it's like, I don't even know what to call it, but like, this nigga clearly is just not aware of what the fuck is going on all the time. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk about the battle because the battle's sick. The whole Mikey versus Kasutora, Draken versus Hanma. By the way, I love Hanma. Hanma's dope. He's like, also, Hanma looks swaggy as shit in the future. Like, or in the present where like his hair is like kind of like a swirl like that shit is dope as fuck and his hand tattoos are sick i want to get hand tattoos in the future just because like i don't know hand tattoos are dope i might get some symbols or some shit but yeah but yeah and you know kasutora he fucks up mikey for a bit then mikey fucks him and them two niggas up and i'm just like they are ass again and mikey is also overpowered as shit but you know any any used to drive that weak ass mo moped nigga get a new ride first of all second second of all um yeah bachi came out he was about to beat the he beat the shit out of everybody on that fucking that big ass sand lot looking ass wall and then this nigga was about to kill kisaki and fuck him up and i was gonna say bachi is the fucking goat i love this nigga bro i do still do love bachi but then this nigga said i'm done and then died or died the first time and then i was like I, I swear to god i almost cried bro i almost cried when that nigga fell in front of uh kisaki and i was like fuck me bro because then i knew kisaki was a fuck shit up again so i'm like shit so you know that happens and then you know the the ever the ever so famous fucking scene of mikey beating the dog shit out of cosmetora and it's just like this, this is not how it's supposed to go, bro. Like, I love shows. I love shows that do shit like this. Like, it's... I know I hate shows that do shit like this. When they have a great what could have been. Like, what could have been if Kasutora, Mikey, and Bachi and all of them stayed alive and stayed together. And, you know, they stayed in Tomen. That shit would have been dope as fuck. Because it's like, I fuck with all the characters. But, like, conflict has to arise somehow. So, it was a great what if type shit, and it's just like, damn. And then Bachi gets up and he's like, Mikey! And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always trying again, bro. I was like, tears are just, nigga, tears are just like dribbling on the, on the fucking edge of my eyes at this point when I, when Bachi is just talking, bro. And then he stabs himself and then he starts talking and he's like, I don't want Kasutora to have to deal with that, blah, 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 and all this and that. And I'm just like, bro. And by the time he actually died in Shifuyu's fucking arms, bro, I, I cried, bro. I cried. Because I'm like, Bachi is such a fucking G. Like, he was a bitch at first. But this nigga is a dog. Like, this nigga is the, is the best character in fucking Tokyo Revengers, bro. This nigga Bachi, he's only been here for like eight episodes. And this nigga is the demon of fucking of Tokyo Revengers. I love this nigga, bro. <sighs> yeah and then yeah and then and then takamichi gets shot game over end the show